We're gently through the income for size in town OG. It's the Mil Segunda or Mina Segunda Gia. Aim Biaga. So today, Tommy's father is taking us somewhere in Belo Horizonte. Apparently, to a viewpoint. I don't know where it is yet. I I've received no information. It's a little bit like a surprise, this is. So <laughs> hopefully, it's going to be good. As I said in my previous video, Tommy's dad is from. Bella Horizonte is where he grew up, so he knows plenty of places to go around here and more adventures, more places to see. So um, let's do it. Obviously, don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up before we start the video. We see you in the next video. Bye from Jake. Vamos la. Another day. Let's go. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden, golden Golden, golden so we made it to Parque da Serra. Cool. I think it's called that. Well, it has like two names. A little bit of drama at the beginning because I didn't have a CPFE, no tame CPFE. So they want to put my passport number or something like that. I think I just took out my driver's license and just put in some fake numbers because basically they wanted to have like confirmation that you received yellow fever along with that a few details like your CPF. I have my yellow fever, but they just was confused because I don't have CPF. It's normal, I'm a tourist. The route here is like, I think it's like two kilometers up and then two kilometers down. Yeah, a little bit of thunder. The weather's perfect actually because it's nice and cool. So, doing a hike like this, it's not too hot. Perfect conditions for a nice walk. Seeing some nice sceneries and nice wildlife so far. So, I'm looking forward to to this little trail. It's nice to be able to have this kind of a uh, peaceful scenery so close to the city. This is one thing I like about Brazilian cities, a lot of them have this. When you compare it to somewhere like London, you don't have many places like this. Any like vast spaces of scenery and just peacefulness. It's great. What do you think? Oro Oro? It must be something, no? It must be an old an old gold mine. Is your dad gonna find some gold in here? <laughs> Not <laughs> struggling. Yeah. Tommy's dad has some regrets about the choice of this trial. His his idea. Tá doendo a costa? Can you eat well today at lunch? Mm -hmm. Almost done. Yes. And your rice and beans to refill. Yes. <laughs> that said, the one, one kilo of fat is gone. <laughs> Soon to be replaced now. <laughs> <laughs> Golden, 
Fiji. Ki. So yeah, I invite my dad to go to another mountain. I'll pay so far. Which one? Just to make a job with him. Yeah, you yeah. should go to another one. So. Oh, Jake, that's your man, Jake. Okay. Go to the mountain. Go to the mountain. Go to the mountain. Go to the mountain. So Hakabo, well not not really Hakabo yet, but almost. It was about 45 minutes to the top and had some very nice views over the city from the top. Very cool, very nice trial. Like, nice and simple, nothing too intense. And so we're just on our way back down now. Should be around 30 minutes back down and then after that some almost uh, to refuel what's next tummy what will we do next what's the next surprise for us lagoa da pampulha lagoa what lagoa da pampulha Pan lagoa da pampulha should be next so we're gonna go there and check that out. Lagoa, where? Lagoa da Pampulha. Lagoa da Pampulha. Yes. All these names are getting a lot more difficult all the time. So yeah, we just arrived here. It's like five o'clock now in the afternoon on a Sunday. It seems like it's probably the busiest time. Thais is trying to signal to me about coconut water thing. She's offering me coco coconut water and I want to take it. Here we go, I'll take it. So good, so fresh very fresh so yeah we're here we're just walking around enjoying the um the atmosphere here those are things here those are like fun fun what do you call them we call them like a uh, a fun fair for like kids what do you call it in portuguese is park do you give us some fun park yeah fun park yes yeah, amusement park as well yes so there's one of the churches that was built by the same guy that built the churches in brasilia so it's like the same type of design Quite interesting to see. It's raining. It's raining. <laughs> <We're> wet. <laughs> I don't want to stand under the tree because the mangoes are falling down as well. I've just seen a little guy riding on his bike and a mango was like this far away from his head. So I don't want to stand under a mango tree. I don't really want to stand under a coconut tree either. So I don't know where we're going to stand. This is the lake over there. One of the main attractions. Many people told me to come to this lake in Biega. So I guess it's, it's famous famous lake of Piega. So here's the church. It was made by the famous architect church. Just over here. I'm gonna walk around the front of it. You can see that unique design. I've never seen coconut so big in my life. It's huge. It's eight. 8.30 p.m. now and we're going to try to go to this um, Pongi, Pongi Kiriri, I can't, I can't say the name, but we're going to try to go to this place that everyone's been recommending to me on Instagram to go to while we're here in Belo Horizonte. It's like still raining a lot, but it seems to have just stopped a little bit. So we're going to try and run out and hopefully we'll arrive there and escape the rain. So it's subendo muito aqui. Biega, see all the places are empty. Sad, I want to be out here partying, and obviously, no one's out because it's raining. Very depressing. Let's try it. This is a spectacular looking thing. 
Just want a burger with some fish now. The bread's really good. Perfect. Try to blend the fry. These are really good. They're really nice. Really good. Highly recommend. Um, speechless. Tell me speechless. Didn't expect it to be good. A lot of people sent me a message and said it's really good. And I was like, it looks good. But Pound Jacosia, like with stuff like this, I didn't expect it to be like. I had, I was, I, I had my reservations. I was skeptical as well. So I thought, Pound Jacosia is not broke. You don't need to fix it. But it didn't fix it. It just improved it. 10 out of 10 for me. So that was it, guys. Pound Jacosia Lea. Foi muito, muito, muito bom. The most wanted ponche queijo in Minas, and for good reason. Many people sent me that place on Instagram, told me to go there. Even before I even arrived in Minas, people were like, if you ever go to Minas, try this place. And when I looked at it, I thought, but ponche queijo is fine how it is. Don't need to do anything to it. But this, it was, it was good. Not only was it like, very good bone chicasia but it was also everything inside was very nice and those uh polenta fritas for muito bom também we took some extra bone chicasia to take with us tomorrow so tomorrow which will be the next video for you guys i am traveling to rio de janeiro for my be my second time well kind of third time there but yeah, we're going to catch coach, which is going to be interesting. I've never been on a coach in Brazil, so of course I'm going to vlog it. Of course I'm going to make a video out of it because it's going to be a fun experience, I think. Tomorrow onwards, videos in Rio de Janeiro. We're meeting a few friends, good friends of ours from London who are also in Rio de Janeiro. So we're going to meet up with them, spend some time with them and hopefully do a little bit of traveling around and a little bit more exploring. I really want to go on a hike. I haven't done a hike yet in, in Rio, so... I would like to do that and uh, who knows what else we'll get up to soon soon will be revealed in all my videos so make sure you subscribe to the channel put a little not notification on to be notified of my next videos and give a thumbs up i'll see you guys in the next video